nerds, my name is Nikki, and when we last left off, we went into that little hole and we got a C chart. So, let's get on with it. I'm hoping to at least get to the boss chamber this week. I am not exactly sure if we're going to be able to do that, but who knows? And if we do, and if we do it before 10 minutes, we will definitely be being the boss in this episode. Slay! So, uh, what did I talk about on... Thursday. I believe I was talking about the anime. And I have to go up and that's okay. No, it's cool. We got we got too high. Ladder was right there. So I'm what I'm saying right now is that I'm gonna die. Uh but no, I'm not, because I'm saved by a ladder right there. So, what should we talk about this episode? We could continue our terrific discussion on anime, or we could talk about indie games, which was something that I was thinking about last episode, but didn't actually talk about. So, we're gonna have to do the awkward thingamajig where I'm gonna have to operate With two hands on one side of the controller, which I just despise. And this is a really cool mechanic because you actually use the Deku Leaf to steer your merry way down the river. Like we. Oh, there are so many just things in this game that are just fun. Just stupid fun. Like, fun for no reason. And two shots. I am the king. But let's talk about indie games. Steam in general, because Steam is real good with indie games. I mean, PS3 and Wii is getting on board with it. I don't know about Xbox, because I don't care about Xbox, but you know, by the way, fight me, internet. Um, what was I gonna say? I. Freshman year of college. Well, First semester of college, I was super into Steam just because I, um, wish we call it. I can only play games on my computer because I did bring my systems with me to my dorm, which I only stayed for a semester in. By the way, don't ever live with five ma fashion majors. It's a trap. Um, oh yeah, we get the boss key in here. Uh, and this is a real, it's a real nifty device. It's super easy, but it's. It's kind of nifty in its own way. Uh, who's attacking me in the here and now? Is it you? I'm good. It's all good. Um, and so in that time, I got acquainted with some Steam games. Not a lot of them, but some of them. I did play Super Meat Boy. I did stink at it. I did never pick it up again. Uh, but really, the highlights for um, video games for me first semester of college were Octodad and Stanley Parable. Of course I've talked about Octodad already on this show. Um, I talked about it a lot when we were on Outside Island. You got the big key! You have to gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. Uh, oh look, it's these guys! Oh no, they're scary! Look at me being scared of them. Oh, jeez. Um, mm, that's not nice. Excuse me, sir, sir, can, can we just, can we talk about what just, oh, and your friend, too. I feel like, I feel this is a bit of a thing. You know what? Did I, was it something that I did? Was, did I, did I offend you in some sort of way, sir? Because if so, I apologize. I did not mean it. I, of course, love you, as does Jesus. I feel like, I feel like there's a lot of feelings going around here, and that's good. That's good. And I feel like we should explore them, but I feel like we should have a more, more of a conversation about this than anything else. I feel like all this violence is unwarranted, and there must be a better way for us to solve our differences. I mean, after all, we are all equals. We are, we have all fallen short of the glory of God, and boom, you're dead. That was my impression of Facebook over the past five days. I can't say that on this show. No, well, I already did. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, Octodad, I've talked about on this show. I adore Octodad. It's, can, can we just, 
Maybe I've already talked about the premise of it on the show. I don't care. I'm gonna talk about it again. Um, let's let's look at Octodad. Let's look at Octodad. In Octodad, you are an octopus with two children and a wife, and you cannot tell anyone you are an octopus. And the only person who knows your secret is a sushi chef. But nobody believes him. Does that not seem? the most brilliant thing to ever be gifted to mankind, ever. Um, it's, it's marvelous. It's genius is what it is. I don't understand why this hasn't existed before. And of course, there's also the fact that I was taught voice acting by Echo Dad, which is just spectacular to tell people. Just, oh, you're a writer. What did you do in college? I was taught voice acting by Echo Dad. Um, and then there was also the Stanley Parable, and gosh, Stanley Parable, I found, I found it actually through Game Grumps that I think about it, because I will profess to watching Game Grumps, uh, not all the time, because it gets a bit over the top sometimes with some of their jokes, but, ooh, wait, that's not what I wanted, this is what I wanted, ba boom that's not it, let's try again, ba boom now I wanted this and then that and all of it. Let's go! Adventure! Where's the boss chamber? What floor is it on? Why am I asking you? How would you know? I am drowning. It's on this floor. We happen to be on the floor with the boss chamber. What a quinky dink. Is it this this guy over here? Okay, so we're definitely beating the boss in this episode. It might be plot heavy after all. Um Oh, actually that did the trick. I do not like this boss. I will say this. I'll probably actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna switch these two, these two guys, because it's gonna be a lot better if I can have the boomerang on my right trigger. But anyway, Stanley Parable was one that I played the demo, and the demo, like, even if you don't play Stanley Parable, play the Stanley Parable demo. They could almost be considered different games, but gosh, that demo. Uh, and then gosh, that game, just so funny, so interesting, just give, give, give it a chance, give, give Stanley Parable a chance. Oh my goodness, it's a joy pendant, I love these things. Okay, bro, need my space. Um... I mean, it's just Stanley Parable. I wish I could explain it. I'm getting my bottle out and then I'm immediately putting it away. You better bet that I am not keeping my bottle out. Do I get a fairy in this? This might be one of the dungeons where they don't give you a fairy beforehand. If so, I shall be fairy cross. Why all these them enemies? Give me a fairy. No, I don't need a rupee. Actually, give me rupees because I'm gonna need them less soon. But also, fairy, please! Excuse me, fairy, please! Excuse me. Fairy! Please! Thank you. You caught a fairy in a bottle and your life energy runs out and you collapse from exhaustion. This fairy will replenish your strength. And we are immediately replacing that with a deco leaf. Lest we have a repeat of last boss. Show clip, last boss. I can't do that actually. Cause I deleted that like a long time ago. Don't tell anybody. Um, maybe I can, I don't know. Ooh, I know what to do. You pick up this thing. You put it on this thing. Have I ever explained the purpose of the cauldrons? Let me explain the purpose of the cauldrons. They are not just for show. I now that I think about, it, I can't remember them being in any other Zelda game. But I guess they haven't needed to, because there's always been some sort of teleporting device. These cauldrons are for teleporting back to certain points in the dungeon. Like we uncovered one middle-ish of last episode, um, and we've uncovered them in Dragon Roost as well, but 
Um, basically, you go in these, I might as well show you right now. You go in these and you're transported to different parts of the dungeon that also have cauldrons. Uh, like here, we're in the first room again. We're probably next going to go to that place that we found in the last episode. And next we'll be in the boss dungeon. And this is just a way of kind of like, it's almost the same point, but not really. Just, it's a checkpoint. It's a checkpoint. And I believe, and I might as well just explain this to you while I'm going into the boss chamber. I believe that they had uh, things such as this. How are we doing on time? I believe they had things such as this. Poor little Bakar in both Twilight Princess and Ocarina of Time. And I'll try and remember in a moment they have any other games that I've played from this. Oh, Zoom, it's the plant guy! I do not like this boss. I find it to be just extremely frustrating. Um, just because, and you'll see in a moment, he's gonna grow vines and they're gonna attach to the ceiling, and the point of it is that you have to, like, cut all those vines and then he'll fall down and show his weakness, and then you hit him and stuff like that. Uh, you have to do so while moving, and then if you take too long, they will, I might as well get a few on and edit. Take too long, and too long is not long at all, by the way. These guys are still after me. They'll regrow. I, that's just so frustrating to me. And so dumb. Just like, give me a little bit of time. See, one of them regrew. And there we go. Uh... In Twilight Princess, the teleporting mechanic was that strange Uku thing. Not only that, but you you default have to get hurt in order to uh, let me just take care of these preemptively. Uh, I'm waiting for them to get me. And frame rate's dropping. Fantastic. I am not a fan of this boss. It's one of my least favorite bosses, if you can't tell. Um, but I will tell you, the next boss we face, and it'll be a while, yeah, just because there's a heck of a lot of plot before we even get to the next dungeon. But, um, next boss we face is a real goodie. I like him. He's just fun, mechanic-wise. And I love, because the next weapon that we get is bows and arrows. And look, because vines are regrowing, because I didn't know where that one vine was, and now I have to go back and cut them all again. And I still didn't even get that one vine. And that's so flippin' dumb. It's just, that's dumb to me. And there's, he's hanging on by one vine, but by time... See? I didn't even... Oh gosh, do I not like this boss? And almost all of them have regrown now. And I don't know why, because I am holding on to my right trigger. <sighs> I am okay. I am so completely, utterly okay, and I, I guess I have to wait for the boomerang to come back. Let me cut all the vines! <sighs> I just don't like this boss. Where even is he? That was barely any time at all. Oh gosh, am I frustrated. Oh gosh, am I frustrated. Actually, be right back, because I'm worried that it's not recording. Okay. Hi, I'm back, because it is still recording, and oh my gosh, I'm down to one heart. Which is ridiculous! This is a very- it's- If this boss came later in the game, I'd be okay with it. But it's a very unforgiving boss. Which is good! for not a second boss. And then there's the fact that the frame rate drops, which just annoys me tremendously. And it doesn't just do that in the Wii U version, it does that in the original GameCube version as well. It just give me the freaking... <laughs> I'm okay. This is my version. If this is as bad as it gets for me for Gamer Rage, then I think I'm okay. It's a lot worse for some people I know. And oh my gosh, that one vine. And there's gonna be like five more by the time I get to it. There we go, okay. Oh hey! Cause, no, we're fine. We're like absolutely, okay. We're done with the boss! Yay! That's 
time is it? We're making good time. We're gonna cut scene after this and then we'll call it quits. Do we want a cutscene after this? Yeah, we're gonna cutscene after this. Actually, just because I'm worried, because my camera is definitely running out of battery, I will voice some of it. I'll voice all of it. What the heck? My my battery's not doing that bad. And okay, I will say it right here. If my battery is not doing well, when the next cutscene plays, I will fade out my face cam and you guys will be able to just enjoy it. If my battery does not die, then my game pad battery is dying. Cool. Um, you know what? I'm going to voice this a little bit, and then I'm just going to fade out my face cam and let you guys enjoy the cutscene. So, I will say it right now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and sitting here through my ramblings. Um, I believe I will see you all next on Tuesday. Till next time, nerds. Thank you.